We are going home. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. We're going home. We're going back to Colorado. <sighs> How do you feel? Great. You think people are going to stare at you in the airport? No. No? <laughs> Not at all? No. How long do you have to wear that? About another week. I think it's three weeks. Three weeks. Every day. We gotta change it. We made it home after truly the most stressful 48 hours. We are home. We've been home for a couple days and it feels so freaking good to be home. It's been kind of a wild few days of being back because I have been utterly exhausted, like not wanting or feel up to doing anything. And Kyle, who is less than two weeks out from having brain surgery, has been energizer bunny, like wanting to do everything. And I'm like, whoa, slow down, like you need to be resting. But he feels so good that he just wants to go, go, go. He's like been cleaning up our house plans and like tidying things and just moving. He is experiencing like discomfort of like light sensitivity. So he can't really be on any screens, which is probably for the best. And he's been wearing his sunglasses around the house cause light just is like really sensitive to him at this point in time. So he's like this cool dude wearing his sunglasses around the house. But I have just been literally vegged out as a potato on the couch for the last couple days and feeling guilty because Kyle's up like moving and I feel like for me, I finally have been able to like finally relax, maybe not relax, but just like my body's exhausted from holding everything for the last couple weeks, couple months, couple years and just finally being able to like do nothing and needing that. Yesterday though, I had energy to do some things and not be physical so i finally made calls for appointments because for the last two years i have honestly not taken care of myself i haven't gone and got an annual like exam or labs for the last two years along with an OBGYN appointment haven't gone since before my endometriosis surgery over a year ago i I haven't gone to the dermatologist for an annual skin check in quite a while. And yesterday I sat down and was like, I'm going to take care of me and scheduled so many doctor's appointments. I also scheduled pelvic floor PT because I'm still experiencing a lot of pain with my endo and hoping that that might be able to provide some helpful tools and relief. And I feel so proud of myself because I've put myself on the back burner as I think a lot of caregivers do because it just hasn't felt as important as cancer and taking care of Kyle and it just has gotten neglected. So I feel proud of myself for finally doing it and it finally feels like there's space for me or I'm making space for myself. But it's wild, like so much change is happening and it feels like this really big new season and I feel like what does that mean? What does it look like? And I don't know. I really don't know. And I feel uneasy, really. But doing the things I can do, which mean going and seeing the doctor just to like make sure everything looks good. And uh, it's been a couple days of just fully rotting, which I'm here for. I watched a lot of trash <laughs> reality TV shows, which also here for it's so good to like literally just like turn off your brain and not have to worry about your own things that are going on in your life that might be stressful but we are home we are home and it feels like we can breathe a lot deeper the leaves are changing fall is coming and it just feels like this very clear transition of like a new beginning it snowed the other day. 
our first day back. Like we woke up the next morning, there's snow on the ground and it just feels like we're home and things are looking up. It's kind of ironic though, because we feel like we're like kind of moving into this like internal spring, like new things are budding where nature is reflecting us this like deep wintering is coming of being internal. So it feels like that we're kind of misaligned with what's happening in nature. And like, I don't feel like I'm going into an internal winter. I feel like I'm finally coming out of a very long one of being so deeply internal for the last couple of years. And I'm like, okay, I need this moment of like decompressing for this week. And then I feel like this new energy is arising. And it doesn't align with this time of like, we're all gonna be inside, we're all gonna be hibernating. Like, I wanna be out. We both wanna be out, like socializing, experiencing life. And that's not to say we can't do it, but it's just different than what is happening in nature. You know, now comes the time of like shedding leaves and decomposing. And if I think about it in that sense, we are shedding leaves, we are decomposing what no longer serves us, which it's actually really beautiful. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe that is exactly where we're meant to be and it's so perfectly aligned. <sighs> Cause Tommy is gone. Also the craziest thing, we went and saw our Chinese medicine doctor a couple days after we got back from Arizona. Every time we've seen him, when he takes Kyle's pulse, he's always says he has a deep, fast pulse, which in Chinese medicine indicates that there's a tumor present, cancer is present. And when we saw him, he didn't mention this deep, fast pulse. And I asked, hey, why don't you hear that? Because Kyle still does have a small tumor in the cerebellum. And we're hoping that that will just continue to shrink so that he really can be at a place of no evidence of disease. But he said to us, he was like, I only feel that deep, fast pulse when there is a tumor that is inflamed and growing. If a tumor is stable or shrinking, you don't hear that. And that just like gave us goosebumps of like so much hope and reaffirmed that knowing that we both carry that like the healing is happening and it will only continue to happen. And yeah, all right, I need to go get this day started because you know, I have things I need to get done and I'm gonna bring you along. I need to prep some food that I meant to do two days ago, but I just did not have energy to get off of the couch. So I'm just gonna prep some stuff that we can grab to like throw in a bowl to make lunches and things like that. Prep some flatbread toast that I've been loving that's made from lentils. And then I think Kyle and I are gonna go leaf peeping because they are turning and they are so beautiful. <laughs> Burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright, then my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming on. I'm coming home. I'm 
coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home Though I fought with my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of peace like you beside me No matter the rain, no matter the storm I'm coming home, I'm coming home As it seems in the photo Nothing is as sweet going so long Nowhere I can ramble or go Could change my mind Could slow my coming struggling to like keep moving today and that's okay I got some tempeh made I got some flatbread made and I washed my hair for the first time in a while and I'm gonna sit down and read and just like chill because we've been through a lot and I think we owe ourselves that Kyle's taking a nap we're not going leaf peeping maybe we'll go at sunset who knows but just moving really slow these days and that's okay it is absolutely okay to move slowly we're not told that in our culture but it is and it's hard to let go of that because we feel it in our body that need to keep moving but it's okay to just sit down and not be productive that is the reminder that i needed today and maybe that's the reminder you needed today as well <laughs> 